In this presentation, I'll demonstrate how to debug a program on the IBM I, also known as the I series or AS400, that has been submitted to run as a batch process via job queue. For IBM I programmers, debugging an interactive job consists simply of starting debug with the strdbg command, adding breakpoints, and invoking the program. A few extra steps are necessary in order to debug a program submitted to run a batch. The first step is to identify the job queue that your job will be submitted to. For purposes of this demonstration, I've created a custom program to do the job submission. We'll simply declare a specific job queue in our submit job statement. Next, we'll open two sessions on the IBM I, which were referred to as Session 1 and Session 2. On Session 1, we'll hold the job queue that our job will run in. Use the Work Job Queue command. Select Option 3 to hold the queue. Next, we'll submit our job. In our case, that will be accomplished by invoking our custom program. F5 refresh will show that the job has arrived on the queue. Now we're going to hold the submitted job and release the job queue. Select option 5 to look at the queue hold the job, then go back and release the job queue so that other users have it available. Now we want to retain the job information for use in our start service job command. We'll do that by looking at the job, then simply edit copy the job user and job number. Now we'll switch to session 2 and start our service job. prompt and simply paste the information copied. Now we can start debug on our program again in session 2. Note that we'll not be allowed at this point to enter any breakpoints because our job is not active. Now we'll return to session 1 and release our held job. Back on session 2, we'll now get a message indicating that job servicing has started. We'll press F10 to access our source and enter our breakpoints. Enter display module source and you'll be brought into your program source. At that point you can begin adding your breakpoints. When you're all done adding your breakpoints, press F12 twice, returns you to the service job screen, pressing enter from that screen, starts the debug. You'll notice a slight flicker as you navigate through your program source, but you can now step through your debug session exactly as you would in an interactive debug. When the job being service ends, be sure to clean up with an end debug and an end service job command. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.